Welcome to the Virgin London Marathon Show. I'm joined by a very special guest, guest today, Mark Lewis-Jones, an actor many people will, will recognise your face. You've spent some time working on Sign of Witness, you've worked alongside one of my favourite all-time actors, Russell Crowe. Um, but this weekend you've got your running legs on. Actors head off and running legs on. Yep, it's uh, CV out the door and uh, trainers on, you know. And uh, I'm running with the TV Times team and we run for leukaemia and lymphoma research and uh, we're part of a this big team of us the banana army and um, we'll be all out in force on sunday morning it's, it's a great story yours because up until 2005 2006 you said yeah. you hadn't actually done anything for a good 20 years or so and this weekend you're looking to run around about 3.30, which in my books is, is pretty good going. Well, I'm going to try. I did 3.46 last year and uh, I've been training hard and um, lost a bit more weight. And um, so 3.30 is, uh, is possible, yeah. Um, but, I, you know, I had 20 years when I did nothing. <laughs> did a lot of rugby as a kid and, and, uh, and ran a lot. Did a lot of cross country. So there was an engine there somewhere, but... Um, I just didn't three, bother. 346, which is, is your current PB, and, and hopefully that's going to cha all change on Sunday. You know, it's a good time for you know a guy in his 40s and for someone who, who didn't do anything for, for, for a long period of time. Yeah, yeah well, uh, I, I guess so. I mean, um, when, I, when I was a kid, I used to win cross countries, you know, and I just never took it up and didn't really do much with it. But uh, I, I love it now, you know. It's um, come to it late, but uh, I, I absolutely love And I love running with this team, you know. They're... Uh, they're a really good group of people, you know, and... Um, so will you have a group of guys that you're going to be running with on Sunday, or are you going to go out and run your own race? Run my own race. Yeah. I, I can't... I, I'm not really good at running with people, you know. I'm either going too fast or too slow, so I, 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 run, I run alone, really. Um, but I, I love the marathon. It's fantastic. You know, it's a great atmosphere. Obviously, everybody knows that. And, and people come out in force to, to, uh, to support, and it's, it's just a great atmosphere, isn't it, you know? And, so, and tell us a little bit about your training, how your training's been over the last three months. Um, I've been doing a lot in the... Uh, we're doing two triathlons as well this year with this team. We're doing Blenheim and uh, the XL Centre. So um, I've been doing a lot of running and swimming and cycling. And it's really helped doing other sports. Uh, my time's been brought down some. We've done two halves already this year. We did uh, Silverstone and Fleet. And I did a 129 in fleet, so um, I've been doing a lot of uh, road running and hill running. So, uh, yeah. And, and as, I, as I said earlier, I detected a Welsh accent in there. Yeah. I don't know where you live, but are you based in Wales somewhere? No, I'm not. I'm based in London, oh, but my, okay. all my family come from North Wales. Because there's great running there, isn't there? It's great. Where my, where my parents live in North Wales, near Wrexham, Vos, there's some, there's some fantastic running up there. There's lots of big hills, and so um, I've been doing that, you know. I mean, I don't have any, like, regime, you know. I read a lot of books about running, and then I don't stick to them, you know. But I, um, but I do do a lot of miles. I do about 50 or 60 miles a week. So, so no set programme, then? You just go out and, and run? You, go, you wake up and you go, I'm going to run some hills today. Yeah, there's not really a programme. I run most days, though, so that's, that's my regime, really. But we're doing a... Um, there's the Cardiff Ultra Marathon in, in May, May the 22nd, and me and Richard Harrington, who's part of the uh, TV Times team, is uh, we're doing the uh, Cardiff Ultra, which is 50 miles, for leukaemia and lymphoma research again. So there's going to be a website for that. So you're going to have to put in some big miles, aren't you? A lot of miles for that. I suppose, this, I mean, London already in itself is, is good training, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, nearly double that, though. And how do you feel about Sunday morning? Do you get very nervous before a race? I get a bit or? nervous, yeah. I mean, nicely nervous, you know. You get caught up with it all, don't you? You know, you get caught up with all the... Um, everybody getting excited, and, and everybody's nervous, really, you know. It's a fantastic... Uh, it's, a, it's a great place to be down in Blackheath at about 9 o'clock, you know, half an hour before you we see start. The energy is incredible. It's just amazing, and those big... They have those big balloons flying up, you know, and, and everybody's kind of on edge it's a nice feeling and do you have any sort of pre-race rituals that you stick to or just kind of get on with it and like treat it like a, a normal running day I, 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 I try to tell myself that Sunday morning I'm just gonna go for a long run <laughs> no I like that that's a good plan definitely. and uh, and try not to get too caught up in uh, 
because the tendency would be to go off too fast, you know, and uh, I've done that before and suffered because of it, you know, so I, I try and just take it easy the first few miles. Will you be looking at your watch, kind of checking your... your I don't carry a your watch, I go by the mile markers. I don't like anything on my wrist to come so back. So you'll have no idea what time you're running? No. Oh, yeah, because you get, you get the time, the mile markers, you? yeah. So I, I'm around eight-minute miles, I hope. Okay. And try to keep to that. And um, we'll see. It's all it's all in theory, isn't it? And then you get to 19 miles and you just think, I just, I just want to end this. Well, the thing is, when you get to 19 miles, you've still got another seven Seven points. to go. Yeah. You know, when you get around Canary Wharf area and you think, I've had enough. <laughs> and all this suddenly does, doesn't count. It comes mind over matter. Just in, uh, yeah. So, uh, but you know, I, I, have, I do find that the more miles I put in, the more gas I've got on the day. It's just there's a there's an obvious equation there, you yeah, know, there and uh, it doesn't take too much to work out. No, it doesn't. But uh, you, uh, it's taken me a while to work it out. <laughs> but you've you've done so well, you know, in the last few years. You've lost three stone. Hmm. You know, you're looking for a three thirty marathon, and, and, and I think that's incredible. I think it's very commendable in my book, most definitely. And as you said, you've got a couple of triathlons lined up. So have you started your triathlon training, biking, yeah. swimming as well? I have done a bit. I, I, start, I swim down in um, Tutingbeck Lido. Oh, yeah, it's nice, yeah. And it's got a 92 metre pool. I was yeah. there this morning. Uh, and oh, just having a little swim? Little swim this morning before I come over to the Excel Centre, yeah. And, um, and I do a bike, yeah. I've been doing bike, more bike this year because I did the Excel last year and suffered on the bike. Took it for granted. Thought, well, yeah. I can cycle, I'm all right. And you then know. you came off and your legs were like lead. Doing a 10k it's after a that. Challenge, was, isn't it? Yeah, good though. But you got the marathon first to think about. So That's we're the first um, thing. Yeah. One thing at a time. We'll uh, we will definitely be looking out for you on Sunday. It's lovely talking to you, Mark. Thank you very much. Nice and to meet uh, you now too. you've said the magic 3:30. We're going to have our eye out for okay. you there, and uh, okay. we're going to be having words if you don't hit that <laughs> okay. 3:30. All right. Thanks. Thanks for talking to us, Mark. Thank you. Thank you.